Music reaction video time! Hey, I'm Annie and this is Why You Should Love Music. I'm about to listen to one of the brand new tracks off of Monsters and Men's newest album, Fever Dream, and I'm very excited. Um, I don't want to do a whole album reaction because I'm tired and don't have time for it, so I just kind of picked a little bit at random. Uh, Second Gravity sounded like the most intriguing to me. I'm a heathen, I'm not going, I don't have rhyme nor reason. Let's hope they do. Just so you know, I'm not going to have this song streaming in the background of this video, but I'll have a link in the description so you can click on that and get it queued up in a separate device or in a separate tab. And then I'll count down 3, 2, 1, and then we can both push play and listen together. And they get lots of streaming numbers and then everyone's happy except for the people who are not happy. And I feel like that's a choice at that point. Pushing play on Stuck in Gravity in 3, 2, 1, go. Ambiance. I feel anxiety. Not really. Tension building. Oh, hello. Okay, now I'm floating. Before I thought it was, hello, duck synth. Why do I always say that they're ducks? I don't know. I had a rounded bend on it. This is beautiful. I'm sorry that I'm like just focusing on that. <laughs> it's funny to me. Snap. This is really beautiful. Uh, I don't know how to take anything seriously in life, so I'm just making it silly, apparently. But this is really beautiful. His vocals are, like, amazing. Ooh. Mood. I'm so sorry. Everyone hates me now. Yes! Those harmonies! Wow. Oh, I thought there was going to be my friend the duck there. Whoa, those harmonies. That is amazing. How many, there's too many layers for me to track all of the notes, but that was amazing and I love the chord so much. The, okay, sorry, I'm not speaking, I'm just thinking. The atmospheric production is really amazing, but it's really different than what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting at all. Like the, it's more ethereal, I guess, than I was expecting a more rooted approach. I don't know why. Gravity. It's like, it's like a... An irony because I feel like I'm just floating and like untethered very much in contrast to the lyrics. These are really beautiful vocals by the way. I, I don't know why I love the duck synth so much which I'm absolutely certain it was not a duck. Let's talk about the strings instead. That was awesome. Uh, I like the string bending effect. It's pretty cool. The piano synth is kind of fun. That was not a synth. That was an actual piano. Which is also quite lovely. The vocoder is not my jam, but this is amazing. Slide! Super, super awesome. It's really interesting. I do feel like the, the musical uh, intention is the exact opposite of the lyrical intention. So it's like this strange, bizarre floating tension that's like almost makes it a ping pong even though it's very much um ethereal ambient which is kind of fun like uh i don't <laughs> conceptually is the word that i was thinking of i've also never heard the word honey sound so like otherworldly before in my life never felt heard the phrase dripping down my hands like honey and be like yes this is an existential statement <laughs> Those arpeggios crack me up, but then the, the synth comes on top of it. But then the, the acoustic piano down here is just like, no, I will do all of the arpeggios and I don't care. <laughs> it's like, that's like perhaps a metaphor for this entire thing. <gasps> the synth. Why is this? No, don't kill the piano, though. I feel like the synth is, like, taking over and the piano is becoming a zombie now. And that makes me feel sad about the state of mortality in conjunction with this song. But those harmonies, though, it's a tad too much um, pitch correction on the female vocals. But I feel like this is... Okay, no, wait, I take it back. This is a statement. Huh! No! Humanity is being attacked. <laughs> I don't like it. I mean, I love it. Let's be clear. <gasps> <laughs> no. This 
is amazingly beautiful and anything bad I ever said I take back. <gasps> what? Okay, I apologize for all of my ridiculousness. I'm in a weird mood, I don't know what my problem is. That song is gorgeous. At first I didn't get it, but then it was like that was the point of it and it was building and then it like owned me and then it like came from my soul and it was like, boom, here's a zombified corpse living your life now. Um, that was lovely. I enjoyed that immensely. I really, I really love the tension with the organic groundedness and then the almost the terrifying feeling of drifting away and then especially in conjunction with the whole theme of that song lyrically that was lovely and like insanely powerful musically at first i didn't get it and then it like drew me in and then it was like ha i didn't explain it i made you live it that was that was wonderful um it's way more this whole album i think has been way more pop driven than i expected so I think that also took me a minute to wrap my head around, um, but I love it tremendously. It reminds me a lot of the of the band Churches. They're super, super, super pop forward, but super intellectual and deep still. I feel like that's where this album is like firmly living. It's like deceivingly intellectual, um, but not as obviously so, but more commercial friendly. Anyway, I deeply enjoyed that. Uh, that was my first reaction. Let me know what was your reaction, your thoughts and feelings about that song or that album. And also let me know what new music you're listening to this week. There's a bunch of stuff coming out that I'm really excited about, which I'm going to go listen to now. So I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you back here next time.